Hey guys, welcome back to Dad's Van. Today we're going to be checking out um, a new product I picked up. It's the Weber Traveler Portable Propane Grill. Really excited about this thing. Um, it's going to give us a nice grilling surface that we can cook a lot of hamburgers, hot dogs on, steaks. Um, it says it can do up to 15 hamburgers, so we'll see if it holds up to that. Um, but the cool thing is it's portable which makes it great for taking to high school sporting events or on car camping trips or maybe you got to hike back a little ways to a, a camp spot or something like that um, so anyway thanks for joining and uh, let's check this out All right, we got most of the accessories out and we're to the point now where we're going to lift this thing out of the box. Um, before we do that, I just want to say uh, thanks for joining and just want to let you know that uh, there's links to this product as well as some of the other Weber grilling tools that I picked up um, while at the store. And if you click those product links, um, I get a small commission. It doesn't cost you anything more to do that. Uh, but it helps me out and it keeps us motivated for making these videos um, about uh, van conversion as well as products we like to use. So thank you for joining and uh, thanks for helping us out by using those links. All right, here we go. First test, see how light this thing is. Pretty impressed. It's very light. Of course, the Grill grates aren't in there, but a couple of wheels here. And that's it. Right, let's get this thing unwrapped. Okay. And wheels came. Okay. All right, first thing we're gonna do here is get the wheels installed on this thing so that we can check out how it rolls around and then we'll get it opened up. So there's a separate bag here that came with some parts that you're gonna need for doing that. All right, these two caps here and these cotter pins. And then there's one steel rod that we're gonna use. First thing we wanna do is just feed this rod through left side of the grill here. And we're going to go ahead and put these caps on, one on each side. Okay, so should have both caps on and the rod sticking out on each side. I'm going to take these wheels like that.
Okay, so you get each wheel on, and then that steel rod should be sticking through just a tiny bit, just enough so that I can get these cotter pins on. All right, I just want to show you how these cotter pins go on. So you want to have this flat side here. Push it on until it snaps into the first bump. All right, last thing is they give you these end caps to go over the wheel where the cotter pin is, which is really nice. I like that they did that. And you'll see there's five little clips on here. So just line it up with the five slots on the wheel. Snap it on. Do the same for the other side. All right, we got the wheels on now, so we're ready to try popping this thing up. Now the way to do that is first this red tab here, you want to move it from the locked to the unlocked position so that's pushing it to the right and then take it off of this uh, steel post here. Then um, the handles here, you'll see there's this black handlebar and it has a red foot pad on it. You want to make sure that's all the way down. Uh, when this came out of the box, I think this was up. So you can pull these red tabs up on each side, move it down, then uh, step on that red stomp pad, reach underneath and grab, there's a red lever there, you want to pull that and bring it on up. the cooking height it'll lock into place all right a really cool feature of this Weber Traveler is this locking mechanism here that keeps the lid locked when it's in the folded position that's super nice you know as you're moving this thing around um, traveling with it uh, this will not pop open which means the great stay inside or anything else tools or whatever you have stored in there stay inside and that locking mechanism releases when you raise it, see it open up there. Now that that's unlocked, we can open the grill. All right, in the box, we have this cardboard packaging, which holds the two grill grates. These are definitely going to add some weight to the unit in terms of lifting and portability, but we'll check it out see. All right, we've got this raised up, so let's go ahead and take a look inside. Really nice build on this. You'll see there's hooks in the front for tools. Here is a burner control as well as a ignition. Now it's shipped without the grates in here, but we've got them right over here. Comes with two grill grates to lay in here. fit in nicely. Got this great table off on the right side here for storing, you know, a plate or whatever you happen to be grilling. All right, I took the grill grates out so you could see what the um, burner looks like inside. It's a good size. Looks like it extends uh, pretty far to the end of this thing. So we'll see how the cooking is on the outer edges of the grill. But Looks like good coverage. All right, so one of the reasons I, I went with this grill specifically over some of the smaller ones was A, it's portable, but B, it has a nice big grilling surface that I'm really stoked about. So this puppy comes in about 25 inches across from the furthest point, about 21 and a half on the 
outer and inner edges here. And the depth, about 14 or 13 and three quarters inches. So lots of room to grill on this puppy. I'm excited about it. Um, we'll see how it does. All right, the other thing that we need to do is get the drip pan installed. That came with the grill, so let's open that up. So they give you one of these uh, aluminum trays. You can buy more online, uh, but they just drop right into this. And then down here, there's a track. You just slide that back, super easy. Just sits right there. So that's really easy to get out if you need to empty it. Slides in when you're done. We'll see how well that stays in place. And uh, this thing is being moved around. All right, so we've checked out the grill. We're um, super stoked about it. But the main thing we have to check out is how portable is this thing? So we can go ahead and close it up. <clears throat> and we're gonna fold it back down again. Putting our foot on the stomp pad, pulling that trigger underneath. Really smooth action. I like this thing. It doesn't just slam down. It's got it's got some gas shocks that help it come down nice and slow. So really good design by Weber on this. And then when it's all the way down, we want to make sure that we lock it by pushing that red tab to the left so that the steel post is in the lock position. And then we're ready to cruise around with this puppy. It's definitely a little heavier with the steel grates in there, but everything seems to be staying in place so far. I'm super stoked about this thing. It's really portable, rolls around super easy. It's not that heavy. Just great design all around. It's got handles for lifting. Definitely can get a workout doing that, but it's not too bad. All right, time to go camping. Super easy. Very uh, portable, compacts down. Really like this thing, great product. All right, one of the other cool features about this is that it can stand upright vertically um, because of this metal bar that loops out there behind the wheels. And when it's like this, it doesn't, uh, the grill plates don't fall out, the drip pan stays in place. So again, nice job by Weber. Okay, one thing I did learn is that when the propane can or canister is connected, that disables this uh, latch from being pulled. And I think they do that because uh, they want you to remove the propane before transporting it. Um, so basically what that means is you can't install the propane uh, before opening it. So be aware of that. Um, so what you're going to want to do is open it up, install the propane, and then you will have to take it out in order to close it. So we're going to open it up now and get that installed. Take this propane canister from underneath here and just 
screw it in. I just wanted to show you this up close. When the canister is in, there's a metal bracket here that it's going to push up against, and that's what disables the uh, lever from from latch unlatching. So put this in after you've raised it up. Take it out before you lower it. All right, we're ready to light this up for the first time. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the propane. And there's a little mark here that tells you what you're pointed to. Go ahead and click the ignition button and you can see that the burner ignites all the way around. Now with any new grill you're going to want to do, uh, before you cook on it, you're going to want to do a, a burn off. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to let this thing heat up and just burn off any of the chemicals from the manufacturing process that are sitting on there. All right, for this initial burn off, uh, what we want to do is close the lid and let this heat up for about 20 minutes. All right, guys, that concludes this review of the Weber Traveler Grill. Um, if you enjoyed this video, consider donating to our uh, website by uh, clicking on the PayPal donation link. Definitely like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, and of course, as I mentioned earlier, if you use the links in the video description to order the products, we get a small commission, and that really helps us out, keeps us motivated for making these videos. So. Thanks so much. Hope you guys enjoyed it and have fun out there.